stocks are down from some of their highest levels in three and a half years. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is down 48 points and zero, that's 0 0.4 percent. The Standard & Poor's 500 index fell 5 points and the Nasca Composite Index slipped 13 points. On Friday, the CNP closed at its highest level since June 2008. The Dow climbed above 13,000 several times. It not has reached those numbers since 2008. The BP oil spill trial is on delay for a week. The delay is to allow BP to try to negotiate with the businesses and individuals affected by the disaster. Less than 24 hours before the start of the trial, District Judge Carl Barber pushed back the date. The new date is now March the 5th instead of February 27th. BP hopes that the delay will result in a settlement. While Washington is imposing trade and financial sanctions on Iran, Salt Lake City activists decide to draw public attention to the different side of the conflict. Alex Cabrero has more. A picture of a bomb, the word war crossed out, and big, bold letters. With so many billboards in the Salt Lake Valley, the man who designed this one knew he had to go big to get big attention. We feel it's a message that needs to be heard. It's not getting a lot of attention. The war drums are beating very loudly. Connor Boyack and, uh, helped design this billboard. At first glance, it looks like he's in favor of bombing Iran. And some people say, well, people might think you're actually trying to advocate that people go bomb Iran. That's not the truth. Um, and if you go to the website, that's clear. Which is the second part of the billboard, where you'll see support the troops with troops crossed out. Instead, it reads support the military industrial complex. It would be a war that would benefit what Dwight D. Eisenhower called the military industrial complex. The, the war profiteers, the propagandists, this isn't a war that we need to fight. Boyack says about 50 friends helped pay for the billboard. The very day it went up by the Maverick Center in West Valley, the website listed on it received some 15,000 hits. He feels the lead up to a possible war with Iran is very similar to the war buildup before the Iraq invasion. I mean, a lot of people I think are buying into the pro-war message. They feel fearful. They think that we do need to go attack Iran. Uh, what we try and do is balance that with fact. The website is full of pictures, documentaries, and information Boyack feels will help people models, understand what he tanks, calls the whole story yeah, so another Iraq doesn't happen. We want to make the people aware of what's going on. We want to make them hold their leaders accountable. There hasn't been a lot of that. Bill Gates is encouraging higher education. He says it not only helps you financially, but it helps you become a broader person. Through his Bill Gates Millennium Scholarship, Gates has funded more than 15,000 scholars' education since its inception. To learn more about Bill Gates and his efforts to support higher education, visit www.gmps.org. Coming up after the break, we will show you what it takes to be a Washington Nationals mascot. We'll be back in a moment. 